Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel, I'm Stella Bliss and today I'm super excited to walk you through my all-in-one wishlist manager, again, because I updated the last version. We're talking easy organization, total price insights, a cute decorative clock widget and of course your budget tracker. Don't forget to duplicate this template using the link in the description before starting. Head over to the finances section in your Notion workspace and here you're going to go to this little blue button that says new. Click on it. We will need to repeat this step for each category you want to create, so pay close attention. Let's personalize this page to fit your needs. Give it a catchy name that reflects your category. I'm going to make this one for gifts. You can even add a fun icon to make it visually appealing. Next, it's time to set your budget. Each category, like groceries or entertainment, will have its own allocated amount. Simply enter the amount you've planned for each category. For example, in budget, I'm going to put 50. Also, if you want to change the currency, all you need to do is go to the budget property, click on edit property, and change the number format for example to euros and it will change but you will need to do that for each property that shows money remember this is your budget so feel free to adjust it along the way but if you ever need to delete a category just select its page and click here on delete easy as that Now that we have our individual categories set up, let's get a view of our entire budget. Look at the top of your screen where you see different views and click on one of these pencils, it can be on any of them, to edit this page. Now you're going to come to this property, budget tracker, this is a relation property connected to our budget tracker. So what we're going to do is going to we're going to click here on empty and we're going to select each of the categories we created before. You see? Now we can step out and you can see that my budget is calculated here. When I have my wish list, this is going to be calculating. It's going to cal calculate my total spent amount. Let's talk about those things you'd love to buy. That dream vacation or the last that gadget. To keep track of these featured purchases, scroll all the way down your Notion page until you find the wishlist view. Click on this plus button below the title. Now personalize your product with a cool name. You can edit the icon, the cover, anything you want. We're going to start filling the properties from type to link but first I'm going to change the cover and the icon now we're going to fill out all these properties on type we're going to select want need or inversion I'm going to put want on priority you're going to put how important it is to buy this product I'm going to put no rush I don't really know the price of this bag but I'm going to put 300 okay here you're going to paste the link here you're going to paste the link of the page of your product and now let's pretend I have already bought this product. First I'm going to mark this checkbox and here I'm going to select the category this product is from. In this case I'm going to put it on clothes. You can fill out these two, oops, these two properties however you want and here you can see that my budget is calculated and that's it now you can see that here is calculating your budget i spent 300 remaining <laughs> minus <laughs> minus 250 and my budget is 50. 
here you can see my remaining amount, here you can see the total wishlist cost and the total spent amount. There you have it, now you're keep to manage your finances like a pro with the power of Notion. Remember, consistency is key to successful budgeting, so get out there, track your expenses and watch those saving goals become a reality. Thanks for watching my all-in-one wishlist manager tutorial. If you found it helpful, remember to subscribe, like and leave a comment below. Stay organized and see you next time!